Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's episode we've got something a little bit different. So we've not worked on a Discovery 2 for a very long time on the channel. Um, this vehicle belongs to one of the employees here at LR Parts and he is looking to fit a new steering damper and also a heavy duty steering rod um, from Terra Firma, both from Terra Firma. So it's a little project that we're going to do for him. We're going to film it and show you guys exactly what's involved. So let's get stuck in. There's no real need to be lifting the vehicle because this has got a two inch lift as it is, so there's plenty of access. Um, but essentially what we're gonna be doing is removing this steering damper here, uh, which looks like the original. We're gonna be fitting a new terra firma on there. And then the steering rod is this piece here. So it's got these um, ball joints at each end. So we have to remove the ball joint out of that drop link there. This is the steering rod and then it connects at the other end as well and we have to remove that ball joint now the trick on this is to get everything to be the same length when we put it back on the vehicle so we're going to have to measure out and get that all the same the vehicle will have to be tracked obviously as well but the closer we can get it to uh, visually the easier the job will be uh, we're going to get stuck in i think first we'll try these ball joints and see what they're like to remove uh, we'll get some uh, penetrating oil on there first and just see if we can move those easily enough okay so that cracked off nice and easily. I'm gonna run out of room if we're not careful. So it's a little bit harder this one to get out because obviously you've not got any room at the top to hit it. So I'm hoping that's gonna drop out. I think these should be tapered, these ball joints. Um, we'll give it a bit of a knock. Okay, so this nut here is well seized. So I'm gonna try and get some lube on there. Um, now while that's soaking in, I'm going to try and remove the ball joint over here. So it's a bit dark, but in here we've got the same 18mm uh, nut that we had on the other side. Because the thread is sticking out so far, I'm going to have to use a spanner. That's done it up a little tiny bit, that's good. So it should go now. Yep. Looks like it's spinning now. Yeah, so there we go, that was spinning in there. That's actually nice and free. Brilliant, we could do with some help. That's off. I'm using the breaker bar to try and get in between these two. see it's dropped but I kept my nut on the top so nothing catastrophic happens I think this one here is going to be just as seized as the top one WD-40 to the rescue that's what I say that's interesting look how clean that bolt is on the inside and yet it's absolutely shit on the outside so yeah Hope we don't have to use that one again, but we might. This is our very nice new heavy duty rod uh, over the front. Now what we've got to do is, you can just see here, I've lined up the ball joints at the end. Um, they are now lined up. And what we have to do is adjust, make the adjustments on this one to make it the same length. So we're all set there. So it's a case of just unwinding this. That's a locking collar. This should uh, unwind. So it's threaded inside the rod itself. So all we have to do is just get it to the same length. There. So we've now extended it. Look, we've threaded it out of the bar to the same point there. We're at the same point there. That's as good as we can really get it by eye. So we'll just take this nut down, this locking nut, lock that off there's actually a, a piece in the bar itself so you can get a spanner on there so you can get a nice tight closure on this and it shouldn't move now you can see here we've got this bracket in place uh, that's welded onto the shaft on the original piece and that's where you attach your steering damper to we have got a bracket we have to fit ourselves onto here 
Okay, you've got two choices. You can either undo these nuts and just slide them onto the bar or take the ball joint off the end. I'm just going to take these off the end. They didn't look like they're tight, so yeah, that's easy. I've always really liked the terra firma stuff. I think it's really well thought out and there's a lot of, I don't know, it feels like it's been designed and engineered by enthusiasts. That's what I've always found or felt about the terra firma stuff. It's just always a little bit different and it's invariably a little bit different for the right reasons. So thumbs up from me on the terra firma stuff, definitely. Remove these plastic covers before you put it on and that is the piece that goes in to the location. There we go. And we definitely want, don't want to be tightening anything up too early. Just get it in position. And it's slotted straight in, which is a good sign because obviously it means we've got the length right. I haven't moved the wheels at all. So all the location points are the same. Right, we've got that in place. Now we can get our steering damper in place with those that disgusting bolt. I've mounted this wrong. There's not enough room here. Yeah, so this actually goes on the other way around. So you've got more clearance. My bad. I've now orientated that correctly. So we should quite easily now be able to get our bolt through and our damper in. So I think the camera went off there while I was just tightening up the uh, clamps on here. I've let it sit naturally, uh, which I think is the right thing to do. So I've got it all offered up. And then once it's sat naturally, I've then tightened up the clamps. I'm just now tightening up the, uh, the ball joints. Now the shaft on here is tapered at the bottom. It's not tapered all the way through, but it's tapered at the bottom. So um, we know the washer goes on the top. And then just make sure they are nylock, so you haven't got to go bonkers. This is what I'm going for here. Simply just undoing that nut again, which I'm hoping is a 19. Okay, absolutely rotten. So I think you'd actually struggle massively at a tracking center to adjust these. Nah, you might be all right. You might be able to get away with it, but these bad boys are going to be much easier to adjust. Um, so again, we've lined it up here. So I'm happy with that. And now I just have to unwind it. So it orientated the same and the same length. And remember when you've got your uh, nuts off here, don't leave that dust, that cover there for transport on. Take them off. Jesus Christ, it's like being at the gym. This bar, I know it's heavy duty, but it's quite heavy. It, it is heavy, heavy in every way. Right, I'm gonna drop it. Plus I've got biggest tires in the world. Oh, you bugger, there we go. Right, it wasn't sitting in here like it is now, you see, and that is because the bar was too, a little bit too long. So I've adjusted it by twisting the bar like this because one end, there. We don't want to do it too much because we did set it up right, but just so it's locked in and this drops in enough onto there, I now know that that's all set. So that's why this collar, you don't want to tighten it up before you put it on the vehicle in case you have to make micro adjustments. These should both be 19s and they are. So it's lovely to put new stuff on Land Rovers because new nuts, metric, all the same, no variables, easy to maintain. Another reason why it's great to fit new parts, but this should feel tight. I mean, it's not going to feel tight straight away, I don't think, not unless we really clamp up those locking nuts. I'll get the torque wrench on those in a bit. Okay, so it did seem a bit of a shame not to use new nuts and bolts on the damper, so we have now got some. So these are the correct bolts you need to replace, and I'm hoping they're all 19. Got a nice flange on those as well. So let's get those on and then job will be done. You know, something very familiar about Discovery 2 when you've been working on Defenders for a long time, which is nice. It just feels like familiar territory, even though it's got lots of differences. Everything's a little bit similar. So you kind of know where you are and what you're doing. Well, guys, it's been a while since I've driven a Discovery 2 and I'm surprised how quiet they are considering uh, their age. But uh, anyway, we're just gonna give this truck a quick 
drive. Was that reversing sensors? Bloody was as well, look, wow. Okay, so let's give the steering a bit of a, oh, he's got, he does need to, oh dear. So on full lock, he's hitting something, so they need to be adjusted. But it still steers, that's a bonus. And clunky. Yep, we're all good. So you might see this Discovery 2 a few times on the channel. Um, I know Mark's got some good things planned for it and also we're gonna invite him on the green lane as well. So there's gonna be three different types, very different types of Land Rover on our green lane trip. We'll have the Disco 2, the Disco 3 and we'll have the Defender. So that should uh, make things interesting. Right, I'm gonna get unloaded now and uh, I think that's pretty much it. That was a relatively easy job, but made harder because obviously it's an old vehicle. All the nuts and bolts didn't want to come out, but that should now be a lot tighter. Um, really happy with the way it's gone on. It is an easy job, but don't forget you do need to get the alignment set up and get all the tracking done on the vehicle as soon as you've done that. Uh, get it driven straight round to your local tracking centre, get them to line it up, tighten all those um, locking nuts up when they've done the job properly and you'll be good to go. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Sorry it's taken a while for us to do something on a Discovery 2 but there it is there'll be more coming soon and for now i'll leave you to it and i'll catch you on the next one